Joined now by Indiana Fever head coach Pokey Chapman. A day like today to get some leadership around yourself. What does it mean to you? Everything. Um, I really had to contain myself when it was time to talk because I understand what today's press conference was about, but it's just a natural migration to someone like Dr. Allison Barber, who has a leadership, you know, PhD in leadership, and then you look at what Catchings has done on the court, off the court, in the community, specifically here with us. Uh, it's a great way to galvanize uh, the franchise going into our 20th season. To have the opportunity to bounce things off of Tamika Catchings and for her vice versa, what does that do for the franchise? Well, I think it's huge. You know, it's a different set of eyes, different lens, um, which is always welcome. You know, it's, it's, it's unique when people don't understand that it truly is a collaborative effort. Uh, when you make these decisions, and uh, that's what that's a win-win for me. What are your thoughts of the work that Kelly Kroskoff did? I know you got to work with her for a couple of years, and ultimately she's the reason why you are here. Listen, how long is this interview? <laughs> as no, long as you want. No, uh, you know, I, I, come on. Um, KK's been there, done that at every level, every facet. She's had a seat. No, no, she made a seat at certain tables. Uh, she created tables, and now she's sitting at them, and it just goes on and on and on. And if if you're not here witnessing up front, and, and up, up close and, and personal, you may think oh, they're exaggerating it. But then she walks in this room and the humility will hit you upside the head. So I'm grateful uh, that she had eyes on me at a time to bring me here. Uh, and she's right across the street. So we'll definitely lean on her as well. We're getting closer to the season and I know an important draft coming up as well. This is something you've been preparing for months for. Can you take us through how things are as it relates to this draft, which is coming up fairly soon? Yeah, yeah, extremely soon. Uh, you, you think about, you know, October, November, when you're getting ready for free agency, things are starting to settle down. Uh, with the third pick, you have to be prepared to go different directions. Uh, there's also a few things that can change it if some underclassmen decide to come out. So this is what we know. We will get a quality player that we need to fill a hole. And so when you, when you think about that, it's easy to put your head on the pillow at night. Well, thank you and good luck here as things start to ramp up. Thank you. Appreciate you.